Hi, this is George from George's Insects, and today I am going to go over Indian Stick Insect or Carassius morosus care. So this is a basic care. If you have any questions, please feel free to contact me anywhere you want. Facebook, Instagram, um, email, phone, comments, however way you want to contact me. I can help you with anything. Um, and and over the past couple of days, the stick insect, have, the stick insects have actually started um, laying eggs, which means they will uh, hatch in around October, November time. Uh, so they should be back for sale around that time, just in time for Christmas. Um, so yeah, that's uh, what's coming. Okay, so we'll start with the enclosure. So this is my enclosure. Uh, I got it off Amazon. These are really easy to find enclosures in the majority of pet shops, Amazon, eBay, anything like that. Easy to find. Um, what I prefer is having a plastic front, which is good for viewing and also helps retain a bit of humidity. But then also it's got like very fine netting on uh, the sides and top, on the other sides and top, uh, which helps airflow. And the bottom is like uh, a tarpaulin material which is water resistant, uh, well waterproof, which help, uh, which stops uh, the water from escaping the enclosure. Um, and in terms of substrate, what um, there's multiple different substrates you can choose. I choose paper towel, you can do, um, you can do so many different things. You can do soil, uh, you could have like a bioactive enclosure with ice pods and springtails in the substrate. You can have so many different uh, substrates. If you want to know more about substrates, go and check out my in, uh, my Indian Stick Insect Substrates video. Uh, with, that should help you out on picking a substrate for your new animal. Next is food. So these guys eat a variety of different uh, foods. They eat rose or rose chinensis. They eat privet, which is ligustrum species. I feed them glossy privet, which is uh, ligustrum species. They eat hawthorn, honeysuckle, ivy. They eat loads of different, um, loads of different um, types of plants. Now you can see a stick insect here. This is about almost adult, about the length of a finger there, and that you can see one up top over there. It's not focusing up. There, yeah, it's not focusing. Um, I've got one there as well. There's, there's about 20 to 25 individuals in this enclosure. The, uh, some are, the majority are adults, and I've got a couple of juveniles in there. Okay, water. So stick insects uh, get the water from water droplets on the enclosure, so you're going to be misting down the enclosure one, uh, once, uh, once a day, once every other day, depending on how humid of an environment you live in. Um, and that will also help keep the plants alive. Uh, and also help retain humidity, which I will get into later in the video. Next is decoration. So they don't; these guys don't really need much decoration. I've got a cork bark log going in there, and you can actually start in there and go all the way through and come at the other end. So that's a good hiding spot. I've got bamboo going across there, and I'll see a forest of privet and rose, which you know makes the enclosure look nicer and more natural. So they don't really need any decoration, but it helps if you want a naturalistic uh, vivarium. Next is temperature. So these guys, you can keep them from 20 to, to 30 degrees Celsius, somewhere around there. Uh, they do fine at room temperature. You don't want these guys to get extremely, uh, extremely cold or extremely hot. They can die from being extremely hot. Um, next is humidity. So again, as I mentioned, spraying the enclosure once a day should keep uh, a good humidity for these guys, obviously depending on where, uh, what environment you live in. If you live in the desert in Arizona, or if you live in the UK, live in Germany, Scandinavia, it just depends on the environment you live in. Uh, but usually once a day is what I'd recommend. Next is uh, handling. So these guys are okay at handling, but tend to be quite, you know, quite fast and they don't really tolerate handling that well but they're okay with handling and be careful because they can easily lose limbs or uh, be dropped or get any sort of damage when handling so you have to be careful about that especially with young children last thing i'm going to go into is breeding so uh the indian stick insect is a parthenogenic so they uh, is a parthenogenic species 
which means uh, they reproduce asexually, which means you need one individual to produce eggs, and they may produce oof, uh, anywhere from one to maybe even ten eggs a day. It really depends on the conditions you're keeping them in. But if I look here, uh, I've got an egg there. That's what the eggs look like. Um, there. And, it, it's, you know, it's easier with paper towel because what I tend to do is I uh, take out, uh, I take the eggs out of the enclosure so I know what days they were hatched on. So I'm going to show you what I mean now. So here are my Indian stick insect eggs. Literally started laying two days ago. Well, three days ago because I'm yet to fill up today. What I do is I label the bottom with the date, um, the species, so C, uh, Carassius morosus and eggs. And you can see there I've got five in there, five in there. There should be five in there. Yeah, oh, the other one's just below that paper towel over there. Yeah, uh, paper towel helps um, keep a bit of moisture. You don't want to keep them wet, but maybe spray them very lightly once a day. Just to keep them nice. Uh, just to keep them nice and in the optimum conditions. Room temperature, again, is fine for these unless you live in somewhere frequently cold. that goes below 20 degrees Celsius uh, in, indoors. Um... But yeah, that's what you can do for eggs. And what I do is before they like before they hatch, obviously they can get out of here when they hatch, but it, that's four months away. But I cover them in like a, a net, a cloth netting over top of each one with obviously very small air holes in them, similar to the material of the top here. Uh, I cover those um, with that and a rubber band to keep it on. So yeah, that's the eggs. So that's all I have to cover today. If you want more information, Go to www.georgesinsects.com and then go and check out the stick insect section. I've got care for the vast majority of species of stick insect, including black beauty, uh, Peruvian fern, jungle nymph, Indian stick insects, Zobro stick insects, uh, Vietnamese stick insects. I've got so many on there. Um, so definitely check that out if you want more information. Contact me if you have any questions. As I said, Facebook, Instagram, email, phone, comment on this video. I'll get back to you in any of those ways as soon as I can. <coughs> so thank you for watching this video. If you did enjoy this video, please do give it a thumbs up and please do consider clicking that subscribe button. Thank you.